Alright, let's go ahead and 50 here. So we're going to continue talking about everything we know we will be getting in zombies for the winter siege event. So I know I was gone for a few days, but pretty much what happened is I got sick, got a shot to fix that, ended up getting hives from it, and pretty much I was just trying to get um, healthy again and make it so I don't have to go to the emergency room. So I'm better now. It looks like it's all cleared up. So I'm kind of sorry I was gone, but there really wasn't anything I could do about that. And sorry if this is kind of old news a little bit, but I still just want to make a video about this because it is a pretty big thing so with that let's get into this so the winter siege event is pretty much just how it was in modern warfare remastered or infinite warfare last year we're we getting like a festive supply drop every day we're getting a remake of Carrington, or it's just like a winter version of it and pretty much we're just getting a lot of cool winter stuff now multiplayer is getting all the cool stuff and zombies doesn't really get a lot okay so we did get a few new weapons we got i believe three new weapons and they're all just kind of meh you know they aren't like amazing or anything i mean we got like the sten and like a few other guns which is kind of cool but they're just kind of okay guns they're kind of like how it was in infinite warfare whenever new dlc guns would come out and we'd get them in zombies they're just kind of okay they aren't really amazing or anything so i mean it's cool we get new weapons and all but it just really isn't anything that's gonna bring me back into the game now the next thing we will be getting is for about six days i believe we'll be getting double xp in zombies which is really cool since i don't think we've had double xp that's actually worked properly in zombies so it is very nice that we're finally getting getting double XP in zombies. So along with the Swinter Siege event, we also got an update for Call of Duty World War 2, and it came out about a day ago, maybe two days ago, and I mean, it really did not fix a lot of stuff at all. If anything, it probably made the game even more broken, or for zombies anyways, and it's just a very disappointing update, you know? Now, I mean, we did get a cool feature, which is now you can see what challenges you have done for any of the characters, so you can kind of tell which ones you need to go for, which ones you don't want to go for, which is kind of nice, but I mean, this update didn't really fix anything at all. I mean, yeah, I fixed a few spots where you couldn't get hit by the zombies or anything. Like, for example, the pub, but you couldn't get in it now. But the thing is, we already found workarounds for it, so this update was pretty much completely useless for zombies. And that's just so disappointing. Now, next thing is, they didn't add any winter things for zombies at all. I think we have one weapon that you can get in multiplayer that has a bonus in zombies, and that's really it. I mean, it's just kind of disappointing. Now, another thing we did get in this whole Winter Siege event is we got this whole Twitch Prime thing. I think I might have talked about it before. I'm not exactly sure. But pretty much what happened is if you have a Twitch Prime account, you can get exclusive items in Call of Duty World War 2. So the first item we got was a Zombies camo. That looks pretty cool. It looks a lot like the COD XP camo from Black Ops 3, if you guys remember that. It looks quite a bit like that. And I mean... Yeah, we have a lot of cool things now, but it really just fails to bring me back into zombies for this game. It's just so disappointing, I feel like, because I always get excited whenever we have winter events in any game, because they always do a really cool thing with the game, they always change the game up, make it really cool. Like, for example, when Siege did their Halloween event, they add in a ton of charms, a ton of camos, cool things like that that want you to play the game to unlock them, where Holy Roller 2 right now is just like hey, the game's exactly the same as it was when it first came out, and that's just really irritating. I mean, I've spent almost an entire day in the game, which, I mean, isn't a ton since the game's been out for over a month, but I'm only, like, level 20 in Zombies because the ranking system is just so bad in Zombies right now. But, I mean, my worst fear for this game has come true, and that is that Sledgehammer does not care about Zombies. Now, I talked about it a few weeks ago saying how I felt Zombies is kind of being left out, but it wasn't anything really that major. But now, since we have an entire winter event that Zombies is pretty much left out on completely, we got a few weapons that aren't really that good, and a double XP event, and that's it. It's just kind of disappointing, and I just wish that Sledgehammer would do something, because... It just absolutely stinks for us because we look forward to this game after, you know, we had a terrible year of Infinite Warfare, and then we just don't get any love in the community whatsoever. And I mean, I really would rather be where we were at Infinite Warfare right now because at least we had Lee Ross who actually cared, where right now Sledgehammer is just like, yeah, zombies, we don't care about it, we're just gonna leave it and not fix any problems. Now, yes, the supply drop issue with prestiging was fixed. I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure it was fixed, even though they said it was fixed like weeks ago and it wasn't. So, I mean, yeah, they did fix a few problems, but there's nothing to do in the game, and that's the thing, is that there's no calling cards for this winter event. There's nothing at all. There's no camos. There's nothing you can do to unlock anything. 
it's just so disappointing, you know, because this is a big game. It was supposed to be the best Call of Duty we've had in a while, and it really has just pretty much disappointed anyone that isn't a multiplayer person. And that's just really disappointing in my opinion. And it doesn't help that there's so many games that are coming out with new things and innovating and coming out with new DLC that Call of Duty just isn't doing. Look at Rainbow Six Siege. They just came out with their new operation a few days ago. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I really do like the new characters. The map's okay. But, I mean, they did a great job on that. They're going to have a lot more stuff to come. If we look at Battlefield 1, they have their DLC 3 coming out just in a few days. And Battlefield 1 is a fantastic game. Just doesn't really have a lot of stuff to do. But this DLC is probably going to spice things up for a little bit. Then, if we look at Fortnite, I mean, they just announced 50 versus 50. Which, I mean, I'm not a fan of Fortnite. But, I know tons of people are. I mean, Call of Duty is just getting absolutely crushed right now by the competition. Because they just can't come out with anything that's actually worth playing the game for. I mean, that's just the biggest disappointment. And I mean, at least Treyarch is still here. Treyarch is doing stuff. We possibly have a new lead on the Sal DeLuca or like the impossible Easter egg on Shadows of Evil. We just heard about a new lead on it. There's like 56 on a roof with newspapers and stuff. I'll talk about that, you know, possibly in the future if we hear more about it. So, I mean, right now we're just hoping Treyarch or Super Easter egg or something gets solved in Black Ops 3. Because as we can tell right now, World War 2 Zombies is just not going to cut it this year. And that's just really disappointing. So, I mean, some of the comments below. What do you think about this Winter Siege event? Do you think zombies will get more over time or they'll change things? Or do you feel like this is just going to be a multiplayer only thing and that zombies are just going to be left out forever, pretty much, in World War II Zombies? So, yeah, tell me that in the comments below. And yeah, anyways, so as always, and I'll see you next one. Peace.